Teresa is not innocent, Ethan. L look at the email. It has her address on it. It came from her computer because she sent it to the tabloid. No, I didn't. Someone else sent it. Why should we believe you about this, Teresa, when you have lied about everything else? Your mother is right, Ethan. You're a lawyer. You know you can't take someone's word on faith. You have to look at the facts. And, and the facts tell me that she is lying. This ain't no damn court case. This is a problem between two people who love each other. And they're the only ones who can work things out. Lisa, please. Give me something to hold on to. Something tangible. I can't, Ethan. All I can give you is my word that I didn't send that email. And if you don't believe me, well, there's nothing more I can say. You and Teresa are getting nowhere. Why don't you just let me talk to her? Get her, Ivy. Get her good. Now you listen to me, you little trick. you got a big heart so can't you just forgive and forget and can't you just trust Teresa about all this email business I want you to take a good look at my son Teresa because you have caused all of the pain he is feeling you lied to him for months you manipulated him into marrying you were you honestly going to stand in church in front of God and enter into a marriage filled with lies and deceit? Because I know all about those kind of marriages firsthand, and I'm not about to allow my son to be trapped the way I was. But I didn't trap him. I love him. Ethan loves me. Does he? Do you really love him? Yes, with all of my heart. Can I believe you, Teresa, when you have lied to me and to the man you claim to love? I didn't tell him the truth because I, I didn't want to hurt him. The same as you. We both love him so much. Oh, Teresa. If you truly love Ethan, then you will make me a promise. Anything, just name it. <laughs> 